So one of the ways um, to help support teachers to develop high expectations is to model the practice. And we did that um, in this instance by um, getting permission from the school that I actually took a class um, to show what that might look like. So I think Geraint was already on board, he was absolutely really keen, but just being able to see it for himself I think was an important step. So I took the class and um, we spent a lot, of, the whole class doing a lot of thinking and it was the students thinking. Um, the difference for high expectations teaching is it's not about what students know, it's about can they analyse or interact or engage with um, ideas. So in that class they had a number of times where they had to make decisions and there wasn't a right answer or a wrong answer. It was about celebrating all the different answers and the different ways you could think about things. So one of the interesting things um, from taking that class was um, the number of students. This was their very first lesson on um, carrying out a physics investigation. The number of students that demonstrated excellence level thinking in the very first lesson without having any real teaching around the concepts. So um, that was really exciting to see that they could do that. That was, I think, a big step for us to you know, see, wow, yep, absolutely, they're right on board. The other was the level of engagement. They were really engaged. Every time we posed a challenge, they didn't go, oh, this is too hard, or I can't be bothered. They were really involved and engaged with every single challenge we put in front of them. And as we kept using questioning to open up the possibilities, they got even more engaged and more excited, I think, about what they were doing. Uh, what surprised me in that class was some of the contribution from some of the students that are a bit more quiet in the class, that you don't always hear. Uh, during the class, um, just seeing them be able to get their points across um, in a more intimate setting with them and their partners. Making decisions on our, on our own was challenging at the start for us and our partners because some of us weren't used to doing it on our own or used to having our teacher there to do the thinking for us. And it gave us the chance to think on our own and now it's become easier. I found it challenging, but I found it um, really, really good for ourselves, uh, for the students, to um, like for life, um, our teachers not always going to be there. We're going to have to think independently. Uh, I thought Faye's presentation within my class was, I uh, thought it was a really positive lesson. Um, it was a good chance to see someone experienced with the class and also being able to see how the students reacted uh, to her, I guess, way of teaching. My role, again, in professional learning is, while providing some modelling, is to not do the thinking for Durant. So my first question to him was, so tell me what you noticed that might be different than what you'd normally um, maybe observe in, in, a, in your class. And then the second thing, what would you have to do differently um, in your teaching? And um, he was really quick to acknowledge that they talked a whole lot more than they normally would, um, which was a positive because they were talking about learning and that, that was the thing he'd have to do differently, was to provide those opportunities for the students to talk about their learning.